What's going on? So I watched the 60 Minutes with uh, Arthur Chanel Miller talking about her rape experience, which was so unfortunate and so sad at that frat house and how because of her, and she has a book coming out tomorrow, which will she spoke and she directed it and she sadly got a wake up call about the racial double standard too as well because a white attacker originally the judge gave him a six month sentence and said because he was a good student or some mess and he couldn't really make it in the system they were gonna, and he probably was in there going to do like three months or something and she said if he had been she said black folk black men would do like a half ounce of marijuana get more time than that so how was this so it provoked her and prevailed her to write more it's always a sad twisted irony of the criminal justice system and when something happens to you just so you see how racially divisive and divided it is and this was very unfortunate and yet it, it proposed her to tell her story verbally and vocally which she caught on with a lot of people it's very sad and haunting because she had too much to drink and but the episode that ensued and how a couple of guys came along and got the guy off from her, uh, but it was very sad and a reminder of so many things that and how you're expressing that you've been violated and yet people are using as a form to weaken you. So and this is why I don't trust me too movies. This woman was telling truths, but I don't trust me too much with simple fact. You have to make sure that you stay on point with what you're saying. But then also, it's also a double standard with how they go about uh, who they decide to pick on, you know. But the guy that was the violator, to, to the original sentence was a joke. Now, because of her fight and her push, they made more mandatory sentences, including, you know, if you go aggressively, I'm not consensual. So they needed to change stuff because it was very archaic what they was putting down. And her story is very compelling. Uh, books coming out and she tells it verbatim. And, uh, you know, it was very sad to hear, but it needed to be talked about. And uh, Chanel Miller was very direct and very forthcoming. And, but they were questioning her. If you're intoxicated, you're not going to remember what goes on. If you're, you know, but the fact is that she she was still held. They was making her feel more like a, def, you know, like she had done something when she was victimized. So it's very compelling on 60 Minutes. And of course, with her book coming. So I recommend that. That's my take about Chanel Miller, the author, revealing her rape uh, night that she had on uh, what had happened and how it changed the course of laws in California. And uh, feel free to check out her book coming out Tuesday. Also, uh, Give me your thoughts and feedbacks about Chanel Miller. And uh, if you'd like it to subscribe, let's discuss this and have a good day. And for anyone that's out there that has been going through what she went through, tell your story fully. And keep your, and, and, and you can't always trust this system because it is a double standard. And that's what she was getting at. All right, have a good day. Peace.